Today at Deutsche Auto Parts, we're going to be showing you how to assemble strut mounts and bearings on a Mark 7 GTI. We are going to be installing our mounts and bearings on our coilover assembly made by Bilstein. We're going to be doing this so that everything is pre-assembled and ready to install when we do our coilover uh, installation. So we can start with our bearing, which goes directly on to the spring assembly and then the bushing. Now, if you take a look, uh, there is a notch in the bushing assembly that if we spin this bearing around, there's a notch cut out right here. So we're going to want to make sure that that lines up and get them all lined up in place and then we can center everything and thread it through. Now once we've gotten that done, we're ready for the nut and washer to be installed so we can put our washer on and then our nut on. Okay, so here we have our assembly on, everything is kind of in place and we have the nut threaded on. Now here is our special tool for installing strut nuts. Now this has a hole all the way through to allow you to hold with this seven millimeter Allen on our particular coilovers on these Bilsteins. They use a seven millimeter Allen in there. Some of them are probably gonna be different. So again, we're gonna tighten our nut down and basically we're just gonna spin this until as you see, the body of the shock is starting to move. So basically once that starts to move, we know we need to get our seven millimeter on there and get this in place. So we're going to get that mounted on there and then put our seven millimeter through. Now we can then tighten it spin this to keep it from spinning anymore. Okay, so as you can see, we can tighten this and this will help us keep everything in place. Now, once you, what you want to do is tighten this until you get to where you feel like you've hit the bottom and then you're going to want to torque this. So make sure you, you don't go crazy. Okay. So we feel like we've hit the bottom here. Now this tool has a great little notch here. So you have your torque wrench. We have it set to 60 Newton meters, which is the spec for this particular strut top. And then we can tighten. If I can get a good angle here to not block you. And wait to hear your click. And once you feel it, then you're good. Now, it might be easier to have a friend help you to get this all locked in place, but our torque wrench has hit its notch and we're all torqued down. Now we're ready for installation. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions, ideas, or feedback in the comments below.